Since Ohio men's basketball began its trek through the MAC West, it's been the gauntlet that head coach John Gross expected. Through the stretch, Ohio has done two things, gotten off to sluggish starts, then grinded out the second half. The other, just piling up wins. The Bobcats overcame a slow start offensively last night and took out Northern Illinois 67-58 for their fifth straight win. The Huskies jumped out to an early 15-8 lead, but Ohio stormed back to take a one-point advantage in the locker room. It then took NIU nearly six and a half minutes to record a point in the second half as the Cats built their lead to 20 at one point. Walter Offit matched a career high with 19 points and Nick Kellogg, who struck the match from deep, poured in 12. Ohio moves to 18 and 4, 6 and 2 in MAC play, while the Huskies have already dropped their 18th game of the season. The team now heads home to prep for Central Michigan, who they'll host at the Convocation Center on Saturday. And last night in the MAC, it was a clean sweep by the Eastern Division. Akron took out Buffalo 86-72 to push their win streak to four and stay on top of the East. Buffalo took out Ball State 73-57 to keep pace with Ohio with a 6-2 conference mark. And Bowling Green beat up on Western Michigan with a 24-point win while Miami edged Eastern Michigan as both teams try to poke their nose back into the race. Kent State had the night off and remains in fourth. Well, after a day that brought 19 new recruits to the Ohio football family, it was time to stack the new class of cats up against the conference. While some analysts aren't giving the group much love, others, both on and off campus, believe the newcomers provide plenty of hype for the future. I really feel good about um, this year's class again. You know, I think we've put together uh, two really very good classes. People were talking. There was a lot of buzz about what the Bobcats were doing late in the process and getting some names that really... Uh, most everybody had pegged for BCS conference, uh, you know, signatures on signing day. So uh, overall, a very strong class. And Ohio women's basketball went 10 rounds with Mac West leading Eastern Michigan last night, but a 29-point effort from Tavlin James, the Mac's leading scorer, vaulted the Eagles to a 63-53 victory. The Eagles took an early 12-4 lead, which they never surrendered. The Cats threatened on a few occasions, cutting it to 19-18 late in the first, then 46-43 down the stretch. Stiff Eagles defense, however, prevailed and held Ohio to just over 36% from the field. Siobhan Robinson hit a milestone as she surpassed the 500-point plateau for her career. She poured in 14, while Tanisha Benson led the way with 15. The loss drops Ohio to 3-6 in MAC play, 10-13 overall. The Bobcats' next opponent, Northern Illinois, where the women will travel for a 4 o'clock tip-off on Saturday. And fellow Mac school Akron looks to be completely invested in the future. The school has added a familiar face, none other than former Ohio State head coach Jim Trestle, just not on the gridiron. Trestle has been announced as the school's new vice president of strategic engagement. His duties will involve community outreach and improving student life around campus. Trestle helped the football program with the recent hire of new head coach Terry Bowden. He says he's not concerned about stepping away from the gridiron. And you're working with people who are excited about what difference they can make and, and you know, where they are in their community and all those things. It won't be that much different. I didn't get a chance to stand on the sideline this past fall and uh, you know, it wasn't as if in my mind the world ended or anything. And, and topping off a packed night of TBC Girls Hoops action is a cross-county showdown as Nelsonville York hosts Athens. With second place in the TBC Ohio on the line, the Lady Bulldogs are knocking on the door of their eighth straight win. Alexander, fresh off a 45-point loss to Logan, will host Megs, looking for their second win. Lady Marauders are trying to capture their first win in seven tries. Meanwhile, Federal Hawking, also on a five-game skid, travels across the border to battle Wahama, while the resurgent Lady Tomcats try to make it five of their last seven when Tribble heads to Miller. And wherever Athens County basketball is taking place, you can bet the Hardwood Heroes crew is on the scene. They're being heroic and getting the skinny on all the latest TVC Hoops news. For immediate recaps, check out woub.org backslash sports backslash Hardwood Heroes. And be sure to check the full show Sundays at 630 on WOUB2.